Hey, it's Vizo. As each year passes, more and more games get produced, from indie to AAA games. There are just too many to keep track of, and it becomes increasingly harder to find time to play them all, which I think is a good thing. While it can be disappointing not playing them right away, it's just as equally exciting to discover them for the first time. A lot of games will get lost in the shuffle and completely go under the radar in the process. That's where I come in. I'm here to shed some light on games so they don't get forgotten. Gravity Rush is the creation of Kenshiro Toyama, the creator of the Silent Hill and Siren series, which are both known for their horror and puzzle elements. I personally don't like horror games, I'm what you refer to as, uh... Hell man, I can barely handle a bee that flies into my room. <laughs> Thankfully, this isn't a horror game, but an action-adventure game with unique gravity mechanics. By manipulating gravity, the player can run on walls, freefall in any direction, and even pick up people, and occasionally throw them off the edge. <laughs> it is set on the floating town called Hexville, where the player progresses by completing missions and battling with monsters called Navi. Now meet our main girl, Cat. She wakes up with amnesia at the start of the game. However, right next to her is this lovely black cat she names Dusty, who gives her the power to shift gravity. As she starts to explore her surroundings, things quickly take a turn for the worse. She discovers she's in the midst of what's known as a gravity storm, a powerful force of nature that uses the gravity to suck up anything that comes near it. As gravity storms become a common occurrence, the town's residents and the cities end up becoming victims to it. It even disconnects them from neighboring towns. It all slowly creates this atmosphere of despair. However, Cat stays hopeful and determined to help the people with their newly discovered gravity powers. She realizes she can make a difference. However, people aren't so sure of this new gravity shifter. Is Cat a force of good or a force of evil? <laughs> she has to slowly gain the trust of the townspeople and show them that she is the hero they deserve. It sounds very superhero-esque, which really adds to the charm. In this world, a lot of people show signs of giving up. However, Cat faces these issues with an honest attitude. Cat is a hopeful beacon of light, with a girl next door vibe that you just want to be friends with, man. She always has these quirky moments and tries her best to stay upbeat, even when things aren't going her way. The gameplay is very simple. Kicks, flips, and gravity. Drop it. Dear lord, they call this Gravity Rush for a reason. Everything is based on Cat's gravity powers. I love the gameplay in this game. There's just something so satisfying about flying through the air at mock speeds. It takes a moment when first using these mechanics to adjust to its combat style. However, it quickly becomes very easy to understand and handle. I love how you can use the motion features on your controllers to help you aim as well. This game gives off so many quirky Nintendo vibes which just keeps adding to its charm. You typically only see wonky motion control stuff like this in Nintendo games. Do I have to remind us about Super Mario 3D World? One of the main mechanics is Gravity Kick. You lock onto your target and rocket towards them like a missile, delivering a powerful and impactful blow. Also, don't get me started on Gravity Slide. This move allows you to slide on all surfaces around you. I have to especially highlight the race challenges. They are just so much fun, man! It always leads you through various obstacles that keeps you on your toes and becomes so satisfying when you hit first place. There's just something so inherently fun about racing, and the gravity mechanics play so well with them. Some key points I'd love to point out is the art direction and the music. Throughout the main story moments, it delivers information through a comic format that takes much inspiration from French comics, delivering it in a very poppy and fun manner that ends up being very enjoyable to experience. When you tilt your controller, it actually moves the page around, which I thought was a nice touch to make it more interactive. Speaking of interactive, I love how when you move between towns, all the buildings are just black silhouettes. So you get close and slowly everything comes into frame and the music starts kicking in. This just helps to hammer home how this all just feels like a comic or a Saturday morning cartoon. The story gets divided up into episodes, so it feels like you're going through multiple different adventures throughout the run of a TV show. The music always has this upbeat, jazzy vibe that I just love, man. Oh, and especially this song. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. Throughout the game, there are various side quests that have their own elaborate stories. They add to the fun and give you various different costumes. I consider these bonus episodes that give you more time with Cat and see what other wacky adventures she goes through. When it comes to the story itself though, there's not much to it. However, the thing that takes this game away is the gameplay and Cat. Throughout the whole game, you get to hear Cat's inner thoughts. This really further establishes the connection you have with Cat. She has this bubbly personality that's just fun, all making you want to root for her more. Cat's friendly demeanor's thing that makes you want to stick around and help her. She may not know what to do. However, she always tries her best to do what's right helping people, even to those who probably don't deserve it in my opinion. You could say she's your friendly neighborhood gravity shifter cat with their sidekick Dusty. Now I ask you, 
please play this game! It is a really fun game that a lot of people overlook because it came out on the PS Vita. However, this game got a remaster for the PS4 for 20 bucks too, which is a steal! If you got the time, check it out. You have a blast! Yeah!